I was uh, looking at the importance of 11, 16, strange number that's been reoccurring in my, in my life, the past couple days specifically. So that guy's a dating, that Maya Stella uh, that had the date of 11, 16, 23, 59 BC, uh, so 2359 BC is pretty much the date in which the Geyser, Pyramid of Geyser, was built. That was 1116 on the Maya date. It's very weird. And November 16th is also McKenna's birthday. Um, you know, who is a 2012 prophet, and I believe sort of a Mayan figure reincarnated, just like Nietzsche. Like, like Pinchbeck said, old souls are here to come back um, to assist the younger souls for 2012. And so 1116 is also the original end date of his 2012 uh, uh, Time Wave Zero. And then when he found out of the Maya calendar, after all of his mathematical studies with the I Ching and lunar cycles, he switched it to the end of the Mayan date calendar. So the original end was Terence McKenna's birthday. Terence McKenna found out this Time Wave Zero. It's very strange. And, you know, I find it important that DJ Screw passed away the same year as McKenna in 2000, but also on 1116, okay? Um, and DJ Screw, I believe, is here to assist us with the temperament. Like, him being a pioneer of slowing down music is exactly what our emotions are going to need, I believe, in the future. Because of the intensity all around us, we'll have to have slowed down music. Um, but yeah, I find it an interesting resonance. And uh, also... Psilocybin and collective memory. I think McKenna was talking about when you take something like uh, ketamine is a drug that's so new that there's no spiritual history in the sense that there's no souls still wandering around who exist in that drug like it, it like it is with psilocybin. When he talks about the mushroom speaking to him, he's being very literal. It's not a metaphorical feeling. The, the mushroom is telling him the history of the mushroom. It's like when you ask it something... It gives you the answer. So collective memory and psilocybin is a very important uh, connected uh, entity because since I do believe in reincarnation, I do, be I do believe we have some kind of intangible soul. It's not, you know, knowledge isn't in the brain. He said he used to take apart radios just to see if little people were in there, but it's just electronic signals. And that's what humans are. We're just radio waves for the, the signals ever surrounding us in this invisible landscape. So, the collective memory when you take a mushroom is very much you being in source with, uh, you being in touch with the source in the sense that millions and billions of people have taken this, and this is McKenna's theory is that the mushroom is what evolved man in the first place. So to have all this history in you, you know, as a mushroom experience, you know, I just find it very, uh, I find it true, and I think the the end count of the Mayan calendar 2012 is in the age of Aquarius for a very specific reason. Aquarius is the sign of the airwaves and telepathy, and we'll all be one. It's the universal sign. It's the most, um, it's the most objective to a point, but it's the very last air sign. So it's a culmination of Gemini and Libra. Okay, Gemini is personal communication. Libra is social communication, and Aquarius is universal. Okay communication. I believe I'm assisting this age just by making these stupid videos. Yeah, I do. I'll write a book, but I'll still have begun with YouTube, and hopefully as a franchise, YouTube will be around a lot longer. It won't be bought out by something and disappear. But anyway, the Aquarian age and the Mayan calendar. Because of telepathy, and the Mayan calendar it's the end of history. We'll all have more... I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know, but I know it's not a coinky dink.